Logix 3200 and 3400 series positioners have a feedback shaft that is spring-loaded via an internal bias spring. There are internal hard stops designating the mechanical limits of the free range of motion. It is very important to verify the rotation of the actuator before the Logix is mounted to verify stroke limits. Caution! During this procedure, it is important to be aware of potential pinch points. To begin mounting the positioner, fasten the spline lever adapter to the spline lever. Depending on the actuator size you have, you will need to use the proper bolt holes to ensure the center of the positioner feedback shaft is approximately on center with the spline lever adapter. Use the first set of bolt holes for 25 inch actuators, the second set for 50 inch, the third set for 100 inch, and the fourth set for 200 inch. Next, bolt the positioner bracket to the positioner. Install and tighten the follower arm to the positioner. Rotate the follower arm on the positioner to determine the location of the internal hard stops. When looking at the back of the positioner, the follower arm will always spring back in a clockwise direction. Caution. If the actuator rotates outside of the free range of motion, it will break the shaft. Understanding where this range is will be critical upon installation. Slide the takeoff arm assembly onto the spline lever adapter shaft. Install it with the bolts slightly loose to allow adjustment. This will be tightened after verifying rotation limits. For VR actuators, apply air to the bottom actuator port to verify the spline lever takeoff arm rotation. Bolt the positioner to the actuator, leaving the bracket to actuator bolts slightly loose to allow for adjustment. Rotate the takeoff arm so the follower pin will slide into the slot on the takeoff arm, noting the engagement of the follower pin and the takeoff arm slot. The pin should extend approximately 1 16th of an inch past the takeoff arm. When properly adjusted, securely tighten the bracketing bolts. With the takeoff arm slightly loose, determine the proper location of the takeoff arm so that when the valve strokes, the positioner follower arm does not rotate into the positioner hard stops. With supply pressure off, rotate the follower arm in the same direction the shaft would rotate upon a loss of supply pressure. When the mechanical stop of the follower arm on the positioner is reached, rotate back approximately 15 degrees. Warning: If the actuator rotates outside of the free range of motion, it will break the shaft. Be sure it is aligned correctly before tightening down the takeoff arm to allow for proper rotation. Tighten the takeoff arm to the spline lever adapter after ensuring the proper rotation is verified. Install the tubing from the actuator to the positioner. Finally, set dip switches and calibrate the positioner. For more information on setting dip switches or calibrating a positioner, see our videos on Knowledge Center flowserve.com For more information on this or other products, please contact your Flowserve representative.